As here is a lesson on a great song we played in our band Cadillac Willie, www.cadillacwillie with a y.com, cadillacwillie.com. Um, check us out. But uh, basically, this is a great song. We've been playing it live for a while. It gets them up dancing. It's it's fun. So I thought I'd share it with you. And that's, you know, with these videos, that's a lot of what I'm doing is just taking a lot of these songs we play in our band and kind of showing you how we approach them. Uh, approaches may be different. A lot of times I'm the only guitarist, so I have to do fuller chords and things like that. But uh, Love Light's a great one. Let me kind of show you what we're going to go over. So, let's start with the hook. Um, I'm going to start with where I kind of started with the song and how I first started playing it and really all I needed to know to pretty much get me through the song. And uh, we're going down on the E string and we're going to the octave on the 12th fret. Still an E. Song's an E. Seven. So, there's the lick. So what we're doing is we're going 12th fret, E string to the A string 11th with the pointer finger. We're starting with the uh, birdie finger on the E 12th, going to the pointer finger on the A 11th, and then we're gonna pinky it down on the 14th on the A. So, get that down. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that exact same uh, setup and move to the A string and start 12th fret A. Then we're going to the uh, D on the 11th, D pinky on the 14th. All right, so. And we speed it up. A little slide too. I'll use some alternate picking too if that helps. Up, down, that's when you eat it. Some palm muting can be used, taking the palm over here, some things like that. There's there's one of the hooks. Second hook is up here. Okay, that second hook, here's what we're gonna do. Open E string, slide it. So we're going to slide from E from 2nd to 4th, okay, A 2nd, a little bit of a slide from the E string down to the 5th fret, and we're sliding there with our birdie finger, and doing kind of the same fingering we did down here, Going, okay, so let me run through it again. Sliding down E string 5th fret to A string 4th with the pointer to the pinky down to the 7th. That's how that works. Alright, a lot of times uh, the way we'll start it is the bass player will come in and play that run get the drums coming in, and I'll start kind of throwing in some little at Just kind of lay that in soft. Pick it up, you know, use your dynamics with this. This, you need to bring it down, like sometimes it's good to bring it down in the song, you know that part, get a little lonely. That's when that comes into play. Um, so basically, we're going to do an E7 chord, 
which is uh, in the open setting is your birdie finger on the second fret A, skip a string, and go to the G first with the pointer finger. And then I'll use this pointer finger to do that action. And that's me just plucking the, the B and G string. Okay. And we're going to move over to an A7 chord. Which that A7 chord is basically we're taking the second fret birdie finger on the D string, skip a string, and then B string second fret. Okay. And that's the rhythm I have found works with our band. So I'm hitting the E string. action just get your rhythm now a lot of that hammering on stuff work work you know some of that stuff so that's kind of where you get your feeling there work on that and then if you want to go and be like Bob where you can do some love that uh, that with that deal same chords something different to do if you got two guitars you can kind of mix I'm showing you a couple one guy can do one one guy can do the other uh, and, or if you're the only guitarist like I am a lot you can just alternate through them you know uh, maybe if the keyboard's heavy you know move to this it's less noticeable you know you just got to find it and see what works but uh, so we're going to go down to the um, ninth fret and we're going to bar the bottom four strings E B G D we're going to take this uh, birdie finger, we're going to lay it down on the 10th fret, and that's going to give us another D7th. That is a cool little D7th fingering that you maybe learned today. And then to go to that A, we're going to take a D formation and move it down. We're going to move that sucker down to the uh, ninth fret. We're going to take the birdie finger on the E string ninth. We're going to take the ring finger on the 10th fret on the B string and go to the G string with the pointer finger on the ninth. There's another little something you can do. So now you got lots of stuff to do. Okay. Now you've got all the parts you can do during the song. Now there's some, some changes in dynamic in the song when it kind of works through the verses and uh, it pushes more towards the channel, you know, and getting to the chorus. What we'll do is I've found with the drummer, I can lock, with it, lock in with him with one of these. And then alternate. So those are kind of my things I'm alternating. And that right there, you know, and again, I'm kind of combining the dead, every other version, Bobby Blue who wrote it, Bobby Blue Band, I believe, you know, and some of the, some of the stuff and kind of combining all these aspects of it. So if you like the dead one more, you could probably listen to that and tailor it more towards that. If you want to be more traditional, you could go. But anyway, uh, so we're going to do an E bar chord. Then we're going to go D bar chord. And then this A, and this A is basically an F finger, G, going to the sixth with the birdie, and going to the seventh with the ring finger. Okay? And that comes in handy. And I, well, you know how we ended? I think when I ended in our band, it's like... So basically what that is, is that that I just showed you. E, D, A, 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 E string third fret, back to that intro, E7. That's how we like to end it. Everybody has their quirky endings. It sounds good. It gets everybody, keeps everybody together. It's simple. Okay, so now that you have enough of the parts down this to work through the song, let me kind of just give you some guidance on the soloing. Um, a lick that can go over, you can kind of play during the chorus, um, and it's more from the Bobby Blue band, that ba -ba 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 -da. All right, I'm 
to show you that, and then you can do that because that's uh, that's you know you could do that. It's all in that room, and um, you can do that during your solo. Pardon me, I lost the screen. You can do that during your uh, your solo. You can do that during the song if you're the lead guitarist. But you know it's a great lick. It's I call it the Skinner lick. Okay, but it's like give me three steps or two steps or whatever that Skinner song. It's a great lick, but you bet three steps. Bar the uh, 12th fret E and B string with your pinky. That is going to remain stationary. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and my other fingers and lay them on the G string uh, with the, the focus being on the 11th fret. And then while I hold these stationary, I'm going to bend these. And you guys got to practice. It's a whole step. So you go whole, like, if you just do them stationary, you get that sound. If you bend them a whole step, stationary. And then we're going right there. That ending note where it resolves is the G string ninth. Okay. And then to get the rest of the little melody, that's just basically going to the D string on the ninth. Hammering down to the uh, 12th, I mean, uh, 11th, 9th to 11th, and then resolving. You'll find it resolves on that note right there, which is the G string 9th, okay? All right, so you've got that. And then another thing you can do is you can play the E major pentatonic, which is basically... Um, You start it when you're playing the major, you want to start the scale with your pinky finger because see the major and this major and where this pinky finger is here is if you're playing the E minor pentatonic, you would move your pointer finger there. So there's your starting point. There, now I'm playing an E minor pentatonic, right? Well, if I want to play an E major, which works in this song as well, you can use both. You can go back and forth. Or one guitarist might decide to approach the scale from the major pentatonic. And then the other guitarist may come in and decide to go. And approach it from the minor pentatonic, okay? But basically, your root note, you're going to start here on the E note, obviously. E. So if you approach it from the minor, you just do your pentatonic scale, right? Now, if you want to do the more major sounding, you're going to approach it like this. It's basically, um, you know, the scale would start, the major, the E major, really, if you were just doing the pentatonic finger, and that scale would start on the ninth fret. But we never start with that note. We're playing in major. We start here. But it's the same box. We just always resolve on the E when we're playing major. And then one other little lick in there that you need to know that makes it a little more modal. I'll show you that. And you can throw those in I just showed you. But uh, this is B string ninth, hammering down to 10th and open. And then going back to the G string on the uh, 11th. Resolving on the G string to the ninth, and then just working through that pentatonic. Or you can go and work that. You know, a, a lot of times I'll I'll start off in the in the minor pentatonic, and then I'll end, move to the major. But practicing moving between that major and minor pentatonic scale is like the secret to blues. Warren Haynes does it all the time, and it's a great thing to work on. And this would be a great song to branch out into that and practice that. I hope I gave you enough on that, but there's the, that one. Just look up E minor and E major pentatonic scale, and then work the licks through this song, and uh, you're there. Enjoy it. Thanks.